Hi viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking water piping. I want to show you what I did for our uh, water piping in the house. Um, we're almost ready to pressure test it. I'm waiting on the actual water line to get put in since uh, we finished up uh, very close to the time they were going to do that. It would just be a lot easier to pressure test it with water actually to the house instead of having to run garden hoses. So uh, let's talk water supply. Um, First off, I used Upanor PEX uh, for everything, like I talked about in the previous videos with the shop, um, and it worked out well. Uh, aside from me grossly under-budgeting the number amount of pipe I needed, uh, it worked out well. So let's uh, let's get going and start. Uh, first, we got a one-inch line coming into the house with a shutoff valve, all right? Big, chunky ball valve. And then we transition down to three quarter and then we go. Um, I chose to do a home, a, basically a home run system with the exception of the master suite. And the reason for that is looking at the pros and cons of different designs. I liked the idea of the home run the best. Um, just for, I guess, quick uh, quickness of hot water and, and pressure and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's what I chose to do. Um, and I also... Uh, try to maximize the efficiency of what quality of water got where. So, <clears throat> excuse me, for starters, our first tap is for hose bibs. And by hose bibs, I mean two out of the four because I was really just gonna not run a bunch of pipe everywhere. So I got two of the hose bibs coming off of here. One just kind of goes up and, and to another part of the house. The other one is located like right here. So it just goes down and literally just pops right in there and goes out. And so we chose frost-free hose bibs, uh, 12 inch, so that we wouldn't have any frozen uh, pipe issues. Uh, it's also worth noting that one inch Upanor inside this is an exterior wall. It is insulated with um, like a mineral wool bat insulation. And then this one inch pipe is also racked with an additional inch of like the that foam, you know, insulation. So confidence is high that we will not have frozen pipes. Um, so that's all for kind of hose bibs. This is unfiltered hard water and out here in the county, it's hard water and boy, they love to put the chlorine in it. So second, this first loop, uh, is going to be for a water softener. So the way this is structured with those valves is the water comes in, right? Is going to go through a eventually a water softener system and then continue on, right? But if I ever need to service that system, I can flip two valves open the bypass valve, and then I can still have water, you know, uninterrupted service while I do maintenance on the system. I also threw a pressure gauge in here because I am a nerd, like I've mentioned in previous videos. Uh, continuing on, so now we have soft water, and this is our main taps for the cold water. And so this feeds basically eh, almost everything in the house, all the sinks, uh, toilets, and like laundry, washing machine, uh, dishwasher, that feeds all the cold water and aside from the master suite, those are discrete lines going to each device. The idea being no fittings in the walls, one pipe right there. If I wanted to cut in valves here later for each one I could, where I could, I could kill off each line individually, which I kind of like. My mind works more like the electrical side of things. So this, this runs more like electrical, which I kind of like. Um, so this, uh, also this three quarter line feeds the hot water tank, which we'll get to in a second. Um, the next thing is a filtration loop. Uh, so same design, right? And putting a water filter in there for all the drinking water. And then at the end of that line, we have all of the drinking water. So we had to choose kind of, okay, well, where do we get our drinking water? Well, garage fridge, kitchen fridge, Right, we've got water supply in the pantry for either an ice maker later or plumbed coffee pot, which is more like what I want because I love coffee. And then um, we decided to do a pot filler. And so the pot filler will uh, be the filtered water. So for cooking water, we can just use a pot filler. And then for like kitchen sink, we'll have softened but not filtered water for um, you know cooking or cleaning or whatever. So then we run over here and then we tap off the cold and then this, these pair of cold and hot go to the master suite and we'll sew that in a second. So cold, comes down here and we basically have it run into our loop and we'll eventually connect to the hot water tank. So exhibit A, ah, tankless hot water heater, scale model, 
so I could kind of get an idea of where the where the ports are. It doesn't matter. So, and then we uh, and then uh, that other line coming in, as you can see, whoop, is a hot water recirculation line coming from the master. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then hot water coming back again, the tap for the master, and then all the things to get hot water going right up. So this was uh, this was a lot of work to do, but it was kind of fun, and I definitely like the results. Um, and again, labeling, label, label, label everything. Uh, I don't know what the final labeling will look like. Uh, knowing me, I'm sure those that tape will be there for five years before I actually do something with it. But at least it's labeled so we know what goes where. Um, let's see here. The tankless I chose is a Renai, uh, 199 BT, 199K BTU uh, with a re integrated recircling, recirculating pump. And so the recirculating loop basically goes out to the master and back. And so that plus a timer mean that the master will have pretty much instant hot water whenever we want it. And then everyone else, like the kids' bathrooms, uh, they'll have it fairly quick. But the master was kind of priority because it's my house. Why not? Um, so you can see a little, there's a lot of pipes going through there. Um, I, if I could do it again, I would probably plan my holes just a little better. This kind of got annoying when the, trying to cram the last few pipes in and getting it all to fit and not over drilling the joist to where you know you break the integrity and that kind of stuff so it was kind of a pain but it ended up working out um kind of show you where all that's coming in all right so there's all the lines feed in the house and where i could i tried to keep the hot and cold separate and bundled uh just i mean you're not going to have that much kind of thermal transfer between them but if you can, why not, all right? Um, what makes this system nice is you can buy a lot of the uh, fixtures that are Upanor compatible. So in this case, like my laundry box, it's an Upanor laundry box, which means it's got Upanor fittings right on it. So I can just run my expansion uh, fitting right to that. Same way with the, uh, the water supply, right? For my kitchen and garage fridge and the pantry, right? Water supply box, Upanor fitting right to it, nice and easy. Um, likewise, I guess we'll talk about tubs and showers because we set those too. Um, for a shower valve, Delta makes an Upanor compatible one, right? So you can run this expansion fitting right to the, right, right to the cold, hot, and then up to the shower head. Um, and we'll talk about tubs and showers in, in, in a different video. We're just talking piping for now. Um, Here's kind of what you do for roughing in a sink and a toilet. Uh, basically hot, cold, come down. Um, I got these kind of stub out brackets to where, uh, you see me pushing on it, it is solid. Um, so even though we're not stubbing out with a hard pipe, this thing is really solid. Um, one of my fears, especially on like toilets, right? Where it, uh, it's not moving, right? Uh, where I've got some flimsy copper pipe in the wall that moves on me. I'm always afraid if I'm going to turn that valve, it's going to break and die on me. So uh, I want to make sure that those are real solid. Um, you buy these little caps just to cap off the line so you can pressure test. Um, that's that's kind of how you rough in the toilet. We show a, uh, a tub, um, you know, how you rough that in. Um, shower's kind of the same way. Um, show you a pot filler. All right, here's the pot filler in the kitchen. Yeah. Again, dedicated line all the way back to the closet. All right, let's walk and let me show you the master. And you may see a lot of work in progress. I haven't done videos on, ignore it. You'll get a video soon. So again, uh, my sink, master toilet, my uh, wife's sink, all right, master shower, all right, here's the uh, master tub, and we just left these uh, PEX lines run long, so you can kind of see, oh, I can get up there, so we run them out, and then just, I left them extra long, just so when we actually build the tub deck, and set the tub, and the faucet, we can cut this off, make our connections, and we are good, so, for the master, we ran those three-quarter supply lines coming in, 
and then we ran our, our recirculating line coming back and we did that all here to its own set of manifolds so it obviously i mean it as long as this house is it does not make sense to run half inch for every little thing all the way back that's just a lot of pipe and doesn't you know does not make a lot of sense so we just ran one set of three quarter supply to feed all these and uh as you can see we've got uh a uh, hot water coming in the recirculating loop and then hot water coming out here all right so that feeds all this hot water in the master this feeds all the cold water in the master and the two other hose bibs so we put two hose bibs on the back of the house right there all right and right there one thing i did not know and it makes a lot of sense it's just i didn't know you're limited on where you can install hose bibs especially these 12 inches like they have to be installed on an outside wall and then that has a cross wall like this inside to where it can go through the outside and into you know into the interior space without being visible right where it goes inside this kind of wall so that limits where you can put your hose bibs uh so i did not know that until i started to really look at this so uh hopefully uh you now know that and can plan accordingly um so that is it for water piping um, of how we did our house. Hope you guys found it informative and uh, thanks for watching. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.